right, good afternoon everybody. It's about 3.45 on Wednesday, the 14th of March. Back over to get some work done. Don't have a real uh, coherent plan to go at tonight. I'm going to flip the car over here, obviously. Look underneath and assess what I need to do under there. I know I've got gaps all over the place that i got to take care of. A lot of welding to do. Um, things like that. And then get the bottom itself, obviously, cleaned up. So, uh, it was nice to see that the car is still on the on the wings and uh, hasn't collapsed on its own weight or anything like that so I guess at least that uh, that stuff is, is holding up doesn't look like there's any buckles or anything like that anywhere um, so that's a beautiful thing I would have been really upset if that was the case I'll check back in as we keep going all right so obviously I got the car up um, concentrate over here first and just cleaning all this up I've got uh, my flat disc out and my and my wire wheels out and I'm just gonna kinda go in here and go to town um, I may weld as I go along there's some welds here that I gotta do on this seam uh, I'll probably take care of that and kinda split the car in half and just do from you know the the tunnel up and take care of all this side and then get the other side and just work my way around so I'm not gonna really fill too many holes but I will finish welds as I get there and uh, just keep going. I'm getting a little shy on weld gas here, so hopefully it should make the night. So we'll, uh, we'll get started. Uh, I'm probably not going to video too much of this, depending on how much of a mess it makes, because I don't want to jack the camera up. Um, so we'll see. If it, if it doesn't look horrible in here, then I'll, then I'll go ahead and, and set up the camera. All right, it's about uh, quarter of five, 25 or so. Now I know why people hate body work. Um, so I don't think I'm going to take it down to, to bare metal. I am going to get the seam because I'm going to reapply the seam sealer there. Um, especially at, at the corners here where I've, you know, done the work and all that kind of stuff. There's some holes in the factory seam sealer here. But for the most part, it looks pretty sealed. Um, so I don't see a reason to break it. But the reason I'm stopping here is because I want to show you this cavern of potential area to get in for us and I don't really know I can't see the camera shot that well I don't know if you can see that up in there but uh, but it's rusty already I think either that or it's just gobbed up with seam sealer uh, there's moth nests in there all sorts of stuff going on um, so there's a couple options here for me to get in there I definitely want to get in there and check it out um, this is just like a rolled lip here I may bend that back which I had to do on the uh, when I was putting in the boot floor patch, boot floor, excuse me, boot floor patch. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there, but I definitely want to roll this back. This big hunk here, right? See how thick that is. I hope that seam sealer. Um, I might put some heat in there. I don't know, but it's just gobbed on here. Uh, something fierce, even down here at the bottom. Not anywhere near as bad down there. So I don't know what was special about up here, but. Um, so anyway, hopefully I didn't make you sick here. We're kind of looking up at the car. Um, inside the wheel well is not that great. Much better access when you're down here like this, so I'll probably wait before I flip it. Or when I flip it to get that. Um, but, so that's, you know, that's a good 30 minutes of work. So, yeah. Fun, fun. Alright, so I got a heat gun. Um, I'm going to apply the heat gun and try to get this seam sealer off in here. My trusty Harbor Freight heat gun. Hopefully it won't, you know, blow us up in here. Ooh, I can smell it. It's actually working pretty well. Now the only reason I'm doing this is to get the to get in here. Look at that heat gun. That's the heat gun smoke you see. That's reassuring. There's a big piece. I don't intend to do this um, anywhere else really and this the seam sealer is totally destroyed because I don't see a reason. I just want to get in here and make sure it's all clean which it actually looks pretty good in here so hold on. Now I have some stubborn moth stuff up there or something. But it doesn't look like there's any corrosion really at all, which is 
incredibly surprising. Now I'm going to get up there to try and clean it though. Alright, well, I'm going to take the uh, camera off here. I'll show you. It won't bore you anymore. You can see up in there. Hopefully, anyway. Not too bad. Got to get whatever that remnant is out of there. But there you go. So, um, do have a pretty good gap right there. That's. Let me zoom out. Pretty good gap right there where the heel board is pulled away almost it looks like so that's something I'll want to look at but otherwise keeping going All right guys it's about 540 slow and dirty work um, but I got quite a bit of the boot floor here about half of it um, cleaned up not completely yet going inside the uh, I don't even know what you call that the spring area there the axle area I guess and then onto the the uh, floor pan back there um, so yeah I'm gonna change in my coveralls here because I'm not gonna be even close to getting allowed in the house and what I'm wearing spitting all this grease and stuff all over the place so alright so I came across my first piece of additional corrosion that I didn't or originally know about um, but I guess if I well one if I didn't get the car like this I never would have seen it too probably if I knew a little bit more about the car I would have realized it um, so underneath here get the light in there right if I can um, just around those spot welds yeah it should be better for you you can see all those spot welds there are all rusting out so probably what I'll do is just drill through the back of that um, these two or three spot welds pry that back like I did before cut a little replacement piece and uh, get a new piece in there um, up in here essentially what I used all these nooks and crannies and everything actually worked out really well uh, are these little abrasive wheels you can get these anywhere Harbor Freight's got them um, got a whole drawer of them there especially when they're like this and brand new um, they stick out quite a bit beyond their, that little rubber piece there and it's very easy to get into nooks and crannies with that stuff. If my voice sounds a little weird, I'm partially covered by a, a mouth uh, respirator thing. So, um, But I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to worry about that repair for now. I'm just going to keep going here. I'm fully decked out in my coveralls and gloves and a uh, respirator thing and glasses and a face shield because the glasses weren't keeping it from coming under so the face shield's definitely helping. So uh, yeah, keeping going. Dirty as heck. All right, well, I'm going to record some of this so that I can show you the joy that is this process. Um, show you the floor real quick here, if I haven't already. Kind of dirty. You don't really get an appreciation for it. The floor is normally a white gray. Not tonight. So I'm just going to show you here um, the various tools that I'm using and make a mess. Again, I got a mouth or I keep saying that, one of those cloth respirator thingers, face shield, glasses, and earmuffs. I hate the sound of the grinder. Functional, I guess. Alright folks, about 8 o'clock, calling it a night. 
there's the pile there's my foot to get an idea of the pile um, so yeah you'd uh, you'd think there'd be more done but pretty long tedious painful on the back a little bit even with the car up like this uh, I decided discretion was the better part of part of valor there and just took all the paint off the inner wheel well and uh, everything else so I got about the top half top in this case pretty much done um, all ground down or scraped down I should say uh, hopefully that the with new floor pans and everything else everything will get a little bit easier um, except for the firewall the firewall will be a pain in the rear again um, but hopefully everything will get easier since the uh, grime and gunk in the back there is not really anywhere else I think that Hopefully, anyway, I think that took uh, quite a bit of time to get all that stuff out. Still some nooks and crannies to work out, but um, it is what it is. I have no idea what I look like. I'm, I'm going to show myself here to the camera in a minute and see, uh, see what it looks like, even under a face shield and safety glasses and a uh, little respirator mask thing. So we'll see here in a sec. So um, that's it for my evening. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing everybody back here either Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure which. So thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, 620 or so. So pretty excited. Uh, keeps growing. I got to get the, uh, the wooden buck post up on the blog. I haven't finished that yet. I did start it, but I haven't finished it yet. But anyway, so again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing and liking. I do appreciate all the comments and uh, everything that I'm getting off the videos it's pretty exciting to be able to interact with everybody and get points and tips from everybody so have a good rest of your week and uh, we'll see you this weekend oh I almost forgot let's see what it looks like no, that's not bad not bad at all All right, have a good rest of your week. Cheers.